Now there's one problem with Nibiru slash Planet X that I didn't mention in part one. If it existed, as described, we would have been able to see it with a naked eye for years now. So why can't we? NASA is hiding! Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, whoa, whoa hold on. This, this is an opponent edition. What are you doing here? Well, you killed the phone voice guy, the redneck got abducted by aliens, I, I think. And Dr. Durpak is on your side on this one. Really? Yeah, he thinks that since he doesn't want the world to end, Nibiru's wave function will... Oh, okay, okay, stop, stop, just, just... I don't want to hear it, just get to the point. Why can't we see Nibiru? NASA is hiding the evidence. Bullshit. It's impossible for NASA or any other organization to hide a celestial body that's clearly visible to the naked eye. The only way this could work is if everyone with eyes and the ability to look up is in on the conspiracy. It's behind the sun. No, if it were hiding behind the sun for years, the only explanation that doesn't violate the laws of physics is if it shares the Earth's orbit. And if it does, then it will always be on the opposite side of the sun from where we are. It can only be seen from the South Pole. Geometrically impossible. If it can be seen from the South Pole, it can be seen from the rest of the Southern Hemisphere as well. It's made of dark matter. Okay, well, that would make it invisible, but we would still be able to measure its gravitational influence on the rest of the solar system. We can. The current increase in the number of earthquakes can only be the result of tidal forces exerted by- Stop! There are no such tidal forces. Look, the, the refutation's right there in the name. Tidal forces wouldn't cause earthquakes. They would- I mean, not at first, anyway. The most obvious thing that would happen is they would mess with tides. And guess what? The tides still come in, the tides still go out. There is still never a miscommunication. Wait, did you just out stupid Bill O'Reilly? None of the excuses work. So, realizing this, some of the people behind this hoax, because that's what it is, a uh, hoax, figured that they need some other reason why the world will end on December 21st, 2012. I mean, the Mayans said it would, right? E except they didn't. But, okay, l let's hear it. What did they come up with? Earth, Jupiter, Saturn, and the Sun will come into alignment, causing the Earth's orbit to shift in a catastrophic manner. No, such alignments happen every so often, and they have no discernible effect on the Earth's orbit. Besides, no such alignment will occur on that date. The Earth will align with the Sun and the center of the galaxy, causing the Earth's orbit to shift in a catastrophic manner. That alignment is actually impossible, because the Earth's orbit is at an angle to the plane of the galaxy. It does come pretty close around that date, though, but that happens around that date every year, and it never has any effect on us. A nearby star is going to go supernova. Well, okay, I guess that's possible. I mean, we know that there are stars fairly close to us that will go supernova soon. But for one, they're not close enough to pose any real threat. And for another, soon means probably within the next few million years. We currently don't have any way to be more precise when we predict these things. Whoever made this prediction was talking out of his ass. There's going to be a massive solar flare. Not that we know of. Major flares or coronal mass ejections can only be predicted a few days in advance. But still, these don't pose any threat to life on Earth. At worst, it'll mess with power stations and satellites. A flare that could wipe out life on Earth, like in the movie Knowing, that would be a phenomenon that we never actually observed in the Sun or any other star. And it's not even predicted by any current theory. The supermassive black hole at the center of the galaxy has exploded, and the radiation from that explosion will reach us on December 21st, wiping out all life on Earth. <laughs> I love that one. First of all, we don't know of anything that could cause a black hole to explode, and in fact, to the best of our knowledge, they can't explode. Second, the radiation would be traveling at the speed of light, and since nothing, including information, can travel faster than that, that means there's no way we could tell that it has exploded until the radiation has already killed us. 
So this is self-refuting. The solar system will pass through the galactic plane, causing, uh, uh, something. No, it won't. We're heading away from it, actually, and we won't be passing through it again for another 30 million years. The magnetic field will shift. There's no way to tell. We can't predict such events with any kind of precision. But even if a pole shift begins on that date, it's a process that takes hundreds of years. Plus, it's not gonna be a global catastrophe when it does happen. It'll be a pain in the ass because it's gonna mess with some electrical equipment and cause compass needles to go nuts, but... It's not gonna wipe out life on Earth! The sun will enter its red giant phase. No, that won't happen for several billion years, and this is very well understood by astrophysicists. The sun is only about halfway through its main sequence, and this change when it does happen is not gonna happen overnight. It's a process that takes thousands, if not millions of years. A supervolcano is going to erupt, causing a global catastrophe. Not that anyone knows of. None of the signs of an impending explosive eruption have been seen, and yes, we are looking for them. So even if there is an eruption, which could happen, it won't mean more than the destruction of the local area. Now, that is a disaster, yes, but the end of life on Earth? Hell no. You know, every time you say there's no prediction, all you're doing is confirming that those predictions are being covered up. Oh, shit. Yeah, you got me. Okay, we're screwed. Uh, now what? Well, fortunately, here's a book that tells you everything you need to know in order to survive the apocalypse. Oh. Whew. Well, that's that, that, that's good. I'll, I'll take it. That'll be 50 bucks. Yep, that's what it all comes down to. The 2012 hoax is just that. A hoax. The whole point of it is to make people afraid so they won't think straight and will buy crap sold by the very same people who are behind the scam. If you actually believe this bullshit, if you actually trust the people who promote it, please learn from this event. When December 21st comes and goes and nothing out of the ordinary happens, Remember that the people you dismissed as hiding the truth were the ones telling the truth all along. I don't know about anyone else, but I for one will be right here to say I told you so.